Yo, what's good? Big Z here, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make this. So this is my remake of Don't Tell the Bank by Sean Frank. It's off his new EP called Activate. All the songs on that EP are awesome. All the sound design and like drum samples and everything he does on that EP is definitely really worth a listen. So go check it out if you haven't heard it yet. As always, all the serum presets and samples I use in this video will be down below for you guys to download. But other than that, let's just get into it. So I guess I'll start off with the craziest sound, which is that crazy lead sound that starts off the drop. So you can see here, I've actually bounced it to audio just so I could manipulate it a little more. But the original audio I made was from Serum up here. It sounds like this. So you can see the pitch bending I'm doing down here just to make it rise and fall a little bit. So in Serum, this sound is really just a saw wave, five voice venison, some detune on there, and a little bit of blend. So it's mainly just that one middle saw wave. And then I have this LFO one down here modulating the level of the oscillator and also the filter cutoff over here of this low pass filter. So I just set it to this rate. I tried to match the original rate. I couldn't get it perfect, but I thought I got pretty close. And then over in the effects tab, I just have some compression, tube distortion, and this reverb effect really makes the sound. Without the effect, it sounds like this. And then with the effect. Then I'm really not doing any external processing at all. I'm just side chaining it a little bit to the kick. So I think he made these sounds on an analog synth. So it was really hard for me to get the beginning pitch bend right. So I actually ended up adding some new sounds to get that initial pitch bend right. So these two sounds, pretty crazy sounds. I just wanted them to get that like dirty sounding pitch bend. So that initial pitch bend is just a simple sound in Serum. It's again, just a saw wave, five voice unison, the same amount of detune and blend as the other patch. And then in the effects section, I've got some multi-band compression, a lot of tube distortion, a formant filter, and the same reverb effect as the other lead. But what I really like in this track are the bass sounds. They sound so clean and deep. I'll solo just the bass and the kick so you can hear it better. So the main bass sound is really deep. You can probably barely hear it if you're just listening on a phone or laptop speakers. But it's got this cool pitch bend action going on in the MIDI down here. But in Serum, the sound is this MB saw wave, and I've got the wave tail position right around here. There's not much going on in this oscillator tab. I just have this LFO one here modulating this fine pitch of the oscillator just to make it sound a little bit more analog. And then in the effects section, I just have some multi-band compression, really evening out the sound, then some heavy tube distortion, and then this filter on top of it. Then I use this Waves plugin called R-Bass just to make some of the bass frequencies pop a little bit more around 125 Hertz, and I thought that helped a lot. So to make the bass come through the mix a little bit more, there's another layer on top of it that's just a little more distorted sounding. And it's also wider, just to make the bass feel wider in the mix. So everything in this bass is cut off below like 150 hertz. And it's a very similar sound in Serum. It's the same wavetable, but two voices of unison and a little bit of detune on there. But all the effects are the same. And then just to distort it a little further, I added some sausage fattener and this Fab Filter Saturn saturator just to saturate those higher frequencies a little bit. Then there's this cool distorted bass fill thing that's rising up in pitch 
Here's the pitch modulation I have. And this is just a square wave. Um, I've got three voices of unison and a decent amount of detune on there. And then I have this LFO one modulating the fine pitch just to make it a little more analog sounding again. And then for effects, um, I just have some compression, tube distortion, a filter, and this reverb effect. Then for the second half of the drop, all I did was take this original lead sound and just pitch it down with this manipulator plugin. Sounds really grimy that way. I love how that sounds. And then these pitch bend things, I added some really short reverb on them where they're completely dry here. And then with a the short reverb, they just sound even more grimy. Other than that, we just have the uh, drum samples down here. I messed around for a while layering samples and making some new samples to get all these drum sounds sounding really tight. I'll definitely still do a separate video on drum layering in the future, but for now you can just download these full samples. Like for this kick, there's three different samples. I'll just combine them all in one sample and you guys can download all those drum samples below if you want them. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Spotify below. And other than that, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.